Let us continue. What's it say, brother? I'm so oh, that's a lot of I'm sorry's. What are you sorry about? That aside, let us push onwards. Um not that way, this way. I'm trying to remember where we need to go. We need to help the spirits out. I can't remember where exactly we need to go. Oh god damn it. Listen, I understand they have to add in a few things for story moments. You know, a few, a few important details, but it's Kratos. He, he won't be. He might get hurt by poison, but he won't be stunned like he just got smacked in the face. And I am whole again. Now I can deliver my message. Your commander is long dead. I. Of course. Odin sent Thor to take control of the valley. But I suppose it's too late now. Don't worry. We're handling the Aesir. No. Tell us what you know of that day. I was at the Mead Hall. Thor was there. He had a strange drinking companion. Some sort of creature, the likes of which I had never seen. It had this barrel of mead that seemed to never go empty. What were they doing? Getting blind drunk from the looks of it. They were passing drinks around, reveling. Everyone had a tipple too many, but Thor... He was by far the drunkest of anyone there that day. Wait, Mimir, what do you make of this? Thor has always loved a strong drink with questionable company. Wait, wait, some... Wait, but... Faye's not a creature. Who the hell was he drinking with then? What creature was he drinking with? Hitting stunned enemies and leash shockwaves and has a chance to grunt. Uh, not never particularly heard interested. Of his creature companion. No. This isn't a lot to go on, I'm afraid. Well, we know one thing. Thor was totally drunk when the valley was destroyed. There's still much we do not know. And whether your mother was involved or... Yeah. I don't know. I'm... It's weird. It's weird. Definitely. We'll keep searching now. We'll see what we can dig up, if you will. I need more stuff for Atreus or something like... Jesus. Um, goals. 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 Favours. Trails of the Dead. Hmm. Okay, so I need to head over there. It's unclear. The dragon's place. Alright. I think I know where to go. I think I remember the way over there. Yeah, so... I need to get up there somehow. I still have no idea how. But lately I've been re-watching Bungo Stray Dogs. Um, so, Bungo Stray Dogs is weird for me because I know it is very beloved. And I understand why it's beloved. I do enjoy it quite a bit. That being said, I do have a lot of issues with it. Which have, have been exacerbated by this uh, rewatch. Where the hell is my boat? Yeah, they've been exacerbated by this rewatch. So, I know everyone loves Darzai. I think he's fine. He's cool and stuff. But honestly, I want more development for Atsushi. I understand Darzai being cool is something everyone loves. Darzai is fine, but he somehow can turn a situa situation around and make it very much about him. Like there's this like four episode backstory with Darzai and his two friends. The backstory is very much focused on the two friends, well, one of the friends, and about the um, one thing happens, and he's looking after these kids, and the kids, spoiler alert, get killed. The hell was that? Oh, wishing well. Yeah, so, spoiler alert, the kids get killed. But somehow, despite the kids getting killed, despite the dude being pissed, you know, Understandably, because he was looking after the kids, he cared about them a lot, he wanted them to lead happy lives. Despite the fact that they were just killed, 
and he was very sad about it. He planned on killing the ones who did it. Despite the fact, does I somehow turned it around and made it about him? You remember of the day you died. Everything is hazy. I remember I was nervous. This brooch. I plan to propose to my beloved. Please, I beg you. Restore me. Restore my memory. Then I can tell you. Tell you all I know of that day. Your remains. Where are they? I was looking out upon the valley. Then the ground. Shook. I tried to dodge a pillar as it collapsed. I must not have made it. Another spirit displaced by the Aesir. Odin mm. must have been really mad when Freya left him to all it. Odin was never going to stop. That's why he sent Thor here. What of Frey? Did she challenge Thor? Hmm. Challenge Odin? Who knows? That wisp the is treating on the wildebeest. We will stop it. Um. Could you could you stop it, please? How how do I stop them? On that eye okay, Atreus, can you hit the wisp, please? Help hit him with some. Jesus! Atreus! What about igniting it with the chain? It shouldn't hurt the animal. The wisp is protecting it so it can keep feeding. Okay. It scared it off. It's going back home to its spring. Do you need any healing? Okay, if you're sure. Anyway, we should look around, see if any other wisps have gotten loose. The f see, sometimes I get mad at them trying to like over-explain um, freaking puzzles. But what the hell? This one does not care. What the hell? Oh, it was scared and in pain. Not anymore. Aye. Better that it had some relief in its final moments. Look, the wisps are locked in the spring. Have I never been to this area before? Right? Take move. Yeah, so. Uh, anyway, I was talking about Bungo Stray Dogs. Yeah, so everyone loves Darzai, and I understand it. He's fine. But I want more character development for Atsushi because he's pissing me off. Okay. I'm on, like, I'm just over halfway through season two at this point. Um, Atsushi's decided that the Port Mafia and um, the detective agency need to work together, which is a good plan. It's, it's, it's the right decision. They need to work together against the guild. That being said though, whenever the moment stops getting troubled in any way, we get an orphanage flashback and it- oh god, it's been two seasons already. Please, stop with the orphanage. If you want to give him more trauma, give him more trauma so you can just move on from the or orphanage, please. It's just- oh god, it's infuriating. I understand. He's, I understand he's going through slow character development. I can see it. I can see it's there. It is certainly there. I'm not blind to it. He's getting better. Doesn't mean I have to be happy about the fact that he's moving at a snail pace. Like, the, the orphan, orphanage freaking cutscenes are getting shorter. Thankfully. It's not much of an improvement though. We're still getting them every episode, basically, that he's in. And I'd preface them in as in any time he has a starring role. Because a lot of the time he doesn't, which is actually kind of a good thing, because it means um, some of the side characters get to, um, you know, do their shit, do their thing. Some of the side characters get to flourish quite a bit, which I'm very happy about. 
So Atsushi is the main character. I want to see him do well. And I want to see him develop and... God damn, is it God damn, it's so, so, so slow. So slow. Yeah, concerning the Darzai thing, about him turning the situation to uh, towards him. So the kids the dude was taking care of just died. The, ki the dude's devastated, naturally. He's freaking appalled. And he's so pissed, he wants to go kill everyone who was involved, which is right. They just killed orphans. He's justified in wanting to, you know, obliterate them. But somehow, during this conversation where they're looking at, like, the burn freaking truck these kids were burned in, where, like, it, it exploded and they would freaking. They would. You know what? You know what explosion did to body? They were killed in the freaking explosion. Somehow, Dozo is like, you know why I joined the agency? Oh yeah, I wanted to find purpose. Like, that's not, of course, what he, how he says it. He says it differently. But that is pretty much the line of um, what he says. He says, I joined the organization to find purpose. Whilst the dude is looking at the burned car wreck where the orphans he was taking care of were just burned alive. Granted, they, they were exploded, so they probably died actually pretty quickly. Point remains, I don't like Darzai so far. I've watched the, the series before, and multiple times. I can't remember where exactly, exactly I got to. Whilst I'm re-watching it now, a lot of things are like coming back to my memory. So I know I've seen at least the two seasons. I know I've seen at least three seasons, actually. Because I know there's a long portion of Dazai's backstory and also Dazai's time in the Port Mafia, as well as his time in like the slums where he's training with um, this dude. So I know there's a lot I still need to get to that I've watched before. I'm pretty sure that's in like season three, Dazai's backstory, and stuff, which I don't want. I already don't care for Dazai. I already don't care for him. Quite a heavier man. So I of course don't want an entire backstory with him. Because Archdushi will get no development in there, and I want him to develop because he's a cool character. Granted, extremely slow freaking evolving character, which pisses me off. Because I want to see him get stronger and get better and stop thinking about the damn orphanage for two seconds. But I don't know, man. I know character development is it character development is very important. I enjoy character development, seeing it happen. But goddamn. It doesn't help when Otsushi is either freaking insufferable or he's awesome. And he has not had enough awesome moments to contend with the insufferable moments so far. He could be so much more. Oh crap, this does not stun him. No, stop, stop, stop. Crater, stop. Stop it. It's like the only move that can stun him. Okay, so you can't back away from that, uh, like at all. Yeah, so... I know a lot of people like Dazai and they love him, and I do understand it. But those people are horrible to him because he wants to die, and I want to support him in that endeavor, and I will do it myself. I want him to have his goal. So all of you are horrible to Dazai, I'm the nice one. I want him to meet his end, like he does. I'm the only one giving him what he wants. The rest of you are horrible, you just want him to live more. Not what he wants. Gotta take his feelings into consideration. Can I frost you at all, actually? I don't think I can. You're not taking any frost damage. 
Okay, that worked. I love the new effect on that. The freaking... Yeah! <laughs> What the fudge is happening? You're on fire, Kratos. It will pass. Not fast enough. Oh, oh. That was like it hurt. I tried to. Yeah. Oh no, it was a light breeze. Didn't feel it at all. Oh, I thought this was health. Oh, there's health over there, though. Oh, crap. That's gonna get blocked out. Well, so long as he doesn't pull out the goddamn. Oh, there we go. Yeah, no, I've definitely got this. Come on, then, big dude. Yes, I know a lot of people love him. I just, I can't because of how much he gets in the way of Oxushi's development. Like the story is very much about Dozai as much as it is Oxushi at this point. It doesn't help that everybody, and their mother, and their sister, and their uncle love Dazai. Everyone loves him! Why? He's a suicidal maniac who just wants to die! All of you are bad friends. You're not giving him what he wants. Ah, oh, crap. Did I actually hit it with that? That's awesome! Oh crap. Well, it's time for you to meet your own, my friend. Yep. Yep, there we go. Oh my, oh my! Okay. He carried some writing. Grab it, would you? Hmm, seems the travelers were told. Blind guest. All of us have heard the blind guest whispers. He is in our ears in our weakest moments. When we consider giving up the walk entirely, he is in our minds when we think of the great reward awaiting us at journey's end. Hmm, blind guess. He's a lie. He told us... Ah, oh, crap. Oh, there we go. Ah, oh, crap. Okay, yeah, I need to use that one. He is a liar. He has told us of a paradise at the end of the path, a shining place for us to take off our boots at last. I have seen many lands, many realms. I can tell you with some certainty no such paradise exists. A road does not lead to peace. The road does not lead to peace. It only leads where all roads do, to other roads. More pain and pleasure and heartbreak and triumph, triumph and boredom and hunger and desperation. There is no destination. There is only the road, your brother, Burger. So it looks like he tried to steer some other travellers off of the path, but predictably, they didn't go. I don't think it got through to any of them, based on the fact that they're still walking the path, based on the fact they are still travellers. <sighs> that aside, I understand if people are mad at me about my feelings towards Dazai because he is god damn it he's as widely loved outside of the goddamn the series as he is inside of the series because people love Dazai I don't get it personally he's fine don't get me wrong it's not as if he's bad as a mocked in it by enemies attacking the mocked enemy reduces root of cooldown so they quit weapon killing the mocked enemy grants a blessing awesome Oh, I have quite a few of these. I do love realm shifts. I do love realm shifts. But I love my glaive more. <laughs> I but love it so much. Exploring the nine realms and beyond, they'd find a way into paradise. Told by whom? Someone calling themselves the Blind Guest. Odin. Odin. Sounds like yeah. the bastard, doesn't it? Odin. It's, it's definitely Odin. Yeah. Thunder. Hello, lady. We have brought you what you asked. Oh no, dude! Thank you. All right. My love, she waits for me in full thunder. 
No, I can ask her to spend eternity with me. She spent eternity oh, with someone else. Pain. Tell us what you know of that day. Yes, I remember now. On the day the valley was destroyed, Thor was swinging his hammer wildly through town. Everyone was terrified. Then a fair-haired warrior stepped in his path, and a fight began. She was a brave woman. This fair-haired warrior must have been Fay, brother. Yeah, Mom stood up to Thor. I'm not. Hmm. We shall see. Hook requirements, Vit. <laughs> I am not meeting that requirement. <laughs> My Curtis health drops to a critical level, grants a short. Oh, that's cool. That's if awesome. They had bravery or bravado. Not many live to tell the tale of a fight with Thor. They never spoke of fighting him. Everyone has secrets. We do not know for certain this was Faye. Aye. There is only one way to find out, brother. Hmm. So, we know it was Faye, right? <laughs> Uh, you can st we can stop kidding ourselves here. It was Fey. Okay, man. There we go. There we go. Don't know where the others are, but I'll get around to them. For now, though. Yes, yeah, so on the Bungo Stray Dogs uh, front. I do think Otsuji is awesome. Otsuji. I need more of him. I've already expressed my whole thing about I need him to start talking about the orphanage. Calm down, Atreus. I've already talked about the orphanage thing. He needs to move past it because it's just, it's too much at this point. Don't care much for Dazai. Wish he got his dream, unlike most of you. So stop being rude to Dazai. Give him what he wants. He wants to die. I'm trying to give it to him. Because I'm a good friend like that. Oh, hello. This place has looked better. Huh? Love. What now? What? The riddle. What gets bigger the more you take away? Love. What kind of chub buffling relationships you been in, Amir? That don't make any sense. Agreed. Oh, fun. I won't be lectured on the nature of a romance by the two of you duffers. <laughs> yes. Bigger the more you take away. Oh my god. <laughs> He's so pissed. He's so bad. He wants to know so much. The hell is this? No. Ooh. Silver, that's new. Oh, because it's maxed. Oh, awesome. I can upgrade my shield. That's awesome. Get my defense up. And this will push me over the edge. And I will get That'll my some folks up. level 7. Awesome. Can't agree with any of you. I think I wanted to craft some gear, but I can't remember what it was specifically. It's fine. Doesn't matter too much at the moment. I kind of want to make it. it. Sounds interesting. It sounds stupid because playing with low health is not a good idea, and I'm not good enough to do make good use of it. But it sounds intriguing. I may get. Um, I may take a look at it at some point. What's with all these? What are they? What's with all the circle things that are lying down? More say that. <laughs> Indeed. I don't know where we are, by the way. I have no idea where this is. 
Okay, so we did not go downwards like I wanted. We instead went this way. <laughs> okay, that good to work. Uh... Don't you think? Once we have more. For a visit to a cleansing pool, aren't we, brother? Once we have more. <laughs> Please focus your fire, Atreus. Please focus your fire. No, no, don't bring it. Don't take it off. God damn it. Oh, god damn it. I hate this place so much. You're all so rude. Yeah, so besides from Bungo Stray Dogs, which I'm... <sighs> I don't want to say I'm plowing my way through or pulling or dragging my way through because there are aspects of it and scenes I love. Also, Otsuchi is immortal, right? Like, he's just straight up immortal. Like, I don't think anything can kill him. Like, he get, they keep threatening him. Like, saying, oh, we're going to kill you. You're going to die. But I don't think he can die. I don't know if this is a hot take or anything, but or I guess loads of people probably would have seen. Could use a dip in the pond, don't you think? I guess loads of people probably would have seen the show already. But they keep threatening him with death, but he has been fatally wounded over and over and over again. Like I really don't think he can die. I think he can get close to it. I think he can get real damn close, but I don't think he can go fully there. I think he is not straight up like immortal. He will, he does still age and get diseases and stuff. So he's not like fully immortal. But invulnerable? No, he's not invulnerable. He still takes damage. I guess it is a form of immortality, but not the whole no aging, no disease type. Also, the you will not die from damage kind of type. You will take a lot of damage, so it's the worst kind of immortality, but you won't die from it. I'm pretty confident in saying that he's immortal. Because listen, listen. He got stabbed a lot. He's been stabbed a lot by a lot of people. But that's not even the reason I think he's immortal. Uh, set bonus, increased damage of all weapons. Ooh, that's really good. And that, ooh, that works with my luck as well. Crap, what's this? Um, you know, screw it, take this off. And that's to get a little bit of vitality. Awesome, can I, 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 I need some more vitality because I die so goddamn quickly. Um. Do I got any vitality down here? This is her death from above attacks. Don't really care about that. Uh, traveler, increased distance when evading. That could be good. Green of strength. Spine rage heals us, but provides a powerful buff. None of these are giving particular things. Okay. Um, I'll just go with the cool sounding one. What was the cool sounding one? This one. I like this one. Yeah, so Otsushi is pretty much a mod arm. I'm, I'm pretty sure he is. Like, granted, granted, he takes a lot of damage, but he fell out of the sky hundreds of feet in the air. He had a parachute, which I am going to generously say he opened halfway down, which I don't think he did. I think he fell. He was, I think he was a bit further up than halfway down. Either way, Still a couple hundred feet off the ground. More say that. So and yet all he did was he transformed once on the way down. As soon as he hit the ground, he transformed. Oh, that is. Nice. Yeah, as soon as he hit the ground, he transformed. And then he just transformed back to human, and he was fine. He didn't even look injured. So he is just straight up immortal. I'm pretty sure. So I don't understand people trying to threaten him with death. He can regenerate from anything, it seems. Seriously, you can't jump over after that. 
There we go. Now just have to deal with these things. Now just gotta kill her before that thing comes back online. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, lady. What the hell? What? Get back here. There we go, this should kill up. I'm hoping. I can't let her go back near them, anyway. Okay, good, awesome. You are dead. This is a cedar camp? There was three people here. It's not a camp. This is a bonfire. Don't even know I should call it a bonfire. Either way. I think that actually does it for this episode. It does, okay. Um, sorry if the topic was something not a lot of people are interested in. I just, I've been watching it and I wanted to talk about it um, lately and my frustrations with it. But I will end things there. Um, next time we will be going over to deal with the dragon because that sounds awesome. After we go deal with this rift and whatever this is because that sounds equally cool. So I will leave things there. Um, like, share, subscribe, comment, all the good stuff. I'll see you all later and goodbye.